is it just me or do these episodes not have titles it's just called episode two like that's so crazy like at least give us some dates or some mysterious crazy that's even darker that there's no titles What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Promise Neverland episode two. Last episode we had, oh my lord, some dire situations trying to survive. We got some cool little updates that William Minerva's pen is like a geographical topical map that lets us know one where we are and where we need to go. But while we were on our way in this crazy forest-like location, um, a crazy looking demon wildlife monster came and attacked us whereas the demons the farm own, owner demons who were looking for us killed it and then we're about to capture Ray meanwhile uh, Sonju saved him and then the other demon girl child saved the other kids and I've just that's literally where I am I'm lost at this point I have no idea what's gonna happen this show has taken me for a loop since episode one I am here for it though I'm here for the ride remember guys with certain shows like promise Neverland I cannot put the reaction on YouTube it will get taken down struck me on YouTube I will not risk getting this channel deleted so like some shows just click that link in the description for the review or for the reaction come back here for the review and if you guys could leave a like and a nice comment because this is going to get so many less views and the ad time and the watch time is going to be so much less on these videos because they're technically a redirect so i just appreciate any help you guys could give on that it really means a lot if you guys want full length and or early access you guys don't want to worry about that check out that patreon down below always appreciate it don't forget to follow me on all my socials uh instagram twitter and twitch adapt darius let's hop into this promise neverland season two episode two called episode two <laughs> another episode where it felt like it went like like that man like that was such a slow episode but i loved every bit of it i loved the lore i loved the emotional develop the character development between uh, not only the relationship between sonju mu mujika and all the us all the rest of the kids but the kids themselves having their own character development between like like emma even though you and ray are the big kids we treat you the same as you treat us like you know it's not always you don't always have to be this invincible unit of a tank that never has anything to worry about like we're here for you too and it makes a lot of sense they're like the older brothers older siblings have that mentality a lot where if they show you know weakness if they show like that they're not able to control the situation then you know it's just like it brings overall morale now which you know but they have to understand that they're literally in this as a unit they're in this as a squad as a team as a family that's the best word i could say but it's a fantastic episode i think my favorite part was obviously the end there with the whole hunting thing because like to put into perspective i know some people would obviously say hey you're living with demons who are trying to kill you it shouldn't be that hard to kill others hunt do what you need to do to survive but to put into perspective she i don't know how old she is i'm just gonna assume no we know 12 she's 12 uh because ray just turned 12 right and emma's the oldest or ray's the whatever they're right around 12 so she's a 12 year old girl who for her whole life all she know all she knew was taking tests playing tag and loving her siblings so for her to be thrust into a world like this she's already adapting better than i can assume all of us would so like this is easily something that would be realistic you know they'd have to deal with at a 12 year old girl to have to deal with killing a live creature even though it's a necessity for survival you know it's like plus the whole goopna thing at the end this added a whole different twist on that like i just assumed they just did the flower thing to do the flower thing but no they did that for Krone too they did that for connie it's just like just like wow you know knowing the context but there's a certain there's a certain i want to know more about the religion too with mujika and so on. there's a lot of questions i have the world was split in two we got to go see minerva to figure out how i don't think we're going to be able to get phil and all i don't think we're going to be able to save all i don't know how the show is going to end like if you were to ask me right now yo you got a five dollar bet saying all the kids make it out everything ends happy we have a five dollar bet half the kids die everyone makes and some people make it out we have a five dollar everyone dies i could totally see every all those scenarios happening i think shows like attack on titan 
and stuff like Full Metal Alchemist, you know, Steins Gate have definitely changed my pers- my perceptive on like perspective on on how stuff should end following typical tropes like this could go any which way and i would not be shocked but with that being said i'm gonna be out of here thank you so much for watching well appreciated as always make sure to leave a like comment down below your thoughts if you guys enjoyed i will see you guys soon uh don't forget to check out that patreon all my socials like i said twitch instagram twitter at that for darius thank you guys for the love appreciate you like always i will see you guys soon peace out